Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual amid all this global turmoil. And first off, I'm going to say one thing. Controversial opinion. Please don't hate me. Don't cancel me. Don't say I'm promoting war and I'm supporting war. But I feel like this whole situation with Russia and Ukraine, I I feel feel like it's kind of good for crypto. And look, 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 look. I can already see the fucking comments. Uh, are you supporting war? Oh my God, you supporting war? No, I'm just saying. Look, whatever fucking happens out there in the world, I don't have control over. Okay, it happens. But all I'm saying is I feel like this is kind of good for crypto. Again, I, I can already see the comments. Alex, just millions of people's innocent lives at risk here. I, I, yeah, I get it. Look, whatever happens out there in the world, it's happening. I can't do anything about it. I'm a blonde kid in California. I, nothing I can do about it. But I am saying, man, when's the last time Bitcoin ripped 16% in one day? I don't know. It, it makes me feel really shitty. Like, there's all this war going on. You know, uh, innocent lives being lost. And I'm sitting here talking about fucking digital coin going up. I know, but... It's just my opinion that global turmoil, you know, global infrastructure, governments, financial infrastructure, having political friction, I, I feel like it's boosting crypto. Uh, look, all right, hate me all you want, but look, I said it, all right? I, I just, I don't like war. But I'm just saying, dude, all of this, you know, fucking COVID, um, t Crazy inflation, you know, Russian ruble crashing like 60%. Fucking, dude, like, Putin coin. Putin coin crashing, you know, 60%. Russian stock market crashing 15%. You know, Russians right now are paying like over 20K over market price for Bitcoin right now. Um, here's the thing, man. Like, I believe when bad, shitty things are happening... In the world, it, it kind of like, it just reminds people like this is why we're in crypto. You know, a, a decentralized level playing field. Okay, so we have this whole political tension and political friction with SWIFT right now. Uh, Visa and MasterCard just fucking banned like all Russian payments. Like you're seeing political friction in these centralized payment systems, which is going to be a natural evolution into crypto. Okay. Like, I don't mean to just, you know, compare innocent lives being lost to, wow, coin on my computer screen go up. But, like, dude, it, I, I believe it's been, I, I think it's helping. I, I think it is, in a way, good for the space. Bitcoin just ripped from 35000 to 45000 in, what, a day and a half? Dude, I have not seen Bitcoin go double digits for a long-ass time. Bitcoin has not done double-digit percentage gains in one day. In a long ass time. And look at that. Putin coin again down fucking another 15%. Putin coin officially wrecked. But anyways, guys. Just a little thing I wanted to say there. Like, I, I know, you know, people are going to take that the wrong way. But it's just like. When the world is getting fucked up, it makes people go like, okay. Do I want to hold these government currencies? Do I want to hold these, you know, government backed assets? Do I want to, you know be fucking holding something the government has full control over? No, dude. It's these fucking decentralized systems with no with no bias, complete neutrality. Like, when bad shit's going on, the purpose of crypto starts to be more, like, in people's heads, if that makes sense. So, guys, yesterday we did talk about uh, the Tranglo Ripple ODL switch got flipped, but I saw it today on Twitter... Um, there's a little bit more to that that we didn't actually know. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to get some XRP price action discussion at the end of the video. So Jack the Rippler, Triangle flipped the switch for 1,300 banks in over 100 countries. And this guy says, is 1,300 payout partners actually 1,300 banks? Yes, right here. Global support, 1,300 banks on Tranglo 
over 100 countries, and they fully fucking flipped the switch on 25 ODL corridors. Let's check this out from Crypto Eddie. Check this out. Finally, Wayden gets it. Ripple controls 40% of Ripple SBI Asia that will link with Tranglo's 25 current ODL quarters. They flip the switch for their whole entire feet. Like every currency they offer, they flip the switch for all of them. Okay, check this out. Ripple controls a 40% stake in Tranglo, who partners many institutions such as WeChat, that has 1.3 billion users over in China. Alipay, that has over 700 million users over in China. Uh, Ripple controls 40% of SBI Ripple Asia, and that will link with Tranglo's 25 current ODL corridors. Guys, and XRP, since I started the video, has gone up half a half a penny. Which, whoa, 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 half a penny going up. Hold up now. I know it sounds crazy, but just since I started the video. Okay. We had a major, major flip get switched with just one partner that's got connectivity to 1,300 banks. So I'm just saying. What happens when a bigger, much bigger, bigger boy flips the switch after the Ripple, after the Ripple XRP SEC lawsuit? Okay. Another quick little thing with you guys. Uh, James K. Fillin at Fillin Law. Brad Garlinghouse files response to the SEC's opposition to Mr. Garlinghouse motion seeking the disclosure of notes of the November 9, 2018 meeting between former SEC Commissioner Roisman and Mr. Garlinghouse. This was the part where Garlinghouse said that this commissioner basically said, hey, I'm sorry you even had to come here with a stupid question. No, we do not believe it's a security. So the SEC's already told Garlinghouse we do not believe XRP is a security. Then they sue them three years later. Actually, two years later, I think. So, there was one Twitter account, the Eleanor. Oh, you guys know who I'm trying to find. It's that Fox business person. She just tweeted something out today. I saw kind of important from a Ripple lawyer. Um... Yeah, so lawyers connected to the SC versus Ripple case say they're in limbo right now, waiting for a couple of rulings from Judge Nepper to come down. Notably, the motion to reconsider the SC request for reconsideration of the status of the Hinman emails and the response to Brad Garlinghouse request to disclose notes from a 2018 meeting between himself and the SC Commissioner Roisman. Lawyers say a decision on the former could be made this week. Okay, the SEC, they're just surrendering. It. I, they got to be surrendering at this point. They got nothing. They've got nothing. Okay. Let's get into some XRP price action talk today. XRP did just pop up to 80 cents overnight. Not doing too bad. 15-minute chart. Um, we're kind of in a little bit of a... Like, yeah, it's pumping, but at the same time, it's also sort of a really weird, choppy consolidation. Move through the hourly chart. You know, you could kind of argue a break and retest right there maybe i'm not too sure four hour chart xrp's got a nice little gap that's got to be filled right here and then right there so we just got to be looking for those gaps to be filled man uh th these xrp charts like they've been looking good for a long time uh, I mean, we just got our third back test of the 60 cent xrp iron wall after flipping it into you know, support. So, I mean, everything's looking good for us to get that thing fucking going, dude. And it's like, guys, the other day, it absolutely blew my mind how sharp Bitcoin moved, dude. Like, it... I mean, fucking Bitcoin... Look, I know, like, there's the group of people that don't believe Bitcoin's going to 100K and the group of people that believes Bitcoin's going to go to 100K. I don't own any Bitcoin. You guys know that, but, dude, this... I think this thing's going to 100K. Like, I, I look, I don't believe in Bitcoin, but whether we like it or not, until XRP is at that, you know, de facto bridge currency global settlement status, Bitcoin right now is the most liquid cryptocurrency. And look at this thing, man. Like, Bitcoin pumped so fucking hard. Like, look, I understand Bitcoin's volatile, but... Bitcoin does not normally go double-digit percentage gains in one day. Usually how it goes is Bitcoin moves about 5, 6, 7% in a day, and the altcoins do the 20, 30, 40% in a day. But Bitcoin ran 16% in 
in 24 hours yesterday. Look at from this 15 minute chart, pure bottom to pure top, almost a 20% move. Okay, a 20% move. Look at this, like what? Nearly two days, like bottom of the wick to top of the wick of the next candle. Wrong tool. Bottom of the wick. Fucking 21%. Bro, do you know when Bitcoin moves like this, bro? It's like back in these days right here. Like right there, you know? Like right there. Bitcoin, bro, it has not done this double digits in 24 hours in quite a long time. So I'm getting pretty excited. I am really hoping XRP can, you know, capture the opportunity, take advantage of this, and... Just absolutely fucking burst it to all-time high. Like, we're ready, man. We're ready to run the next part of the cycle. Get this legendary cup and handle breakout going. Like, I'm I'm ready for it, dude. It's coming. We know it's coming. And again, I'm sorry, but all this global turmoil, I, I, in my opinion, bro, this is propping up crypto and is making crypto make more sense. Okay, I know what I said at the beginning of the video. Like, I know people are going to take that the wrong way. But this fucking global turmoil... Political tension, political friction, centralized systems banning countries, dude, like, it makes crypto make more sense. It's something for us to point to and go like, okay, see, see, like, this is why we're into crypto. It kind of validates our stance in a way. But again, not supporting more, I, like, I did, like, what I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't even want to say it, but I'm just like, bro, I'm not going to censor myself, that's what I believe, and... I'm just saying, like anything, not even just war, but any sort of global turmoil. Like we had the whole COVID thing hit and, you know, United States printing 40% of the supply of the U.S. dollar in one year. Like, bro, bad shit happening in the world, which has to always, you always has to do with government. When bad shit's going on in the world because of government, it proves our point with crypto, which is why I think we saw Bitcoin run fucking double digits percentage gains in one day. So... Guys, that's going to go ahead and be the video for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you want to support the channel. And again, I <clears throat> uh, just did get denied on Twitter for the verification blue check mark again. But I did get approved for super follow, so make sure to stay tuned for that private like little XRP day trading community. Um, should be up soon whenever Twitter decides to make it not pending. Like they, I don't get it. They approved me. I did everything. Now they're like pending. They're like approving the approval basically. So guys, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the late night Cobcast bull run streams. Those will be coming back. According to the XRP four hour chart, I do think we are going to be heading higher and fill this gap up here, get back to the 90 cent range. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.